my desk it makes a farting sound. So that noise is not me. Just to clarify. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to be back. So today I thought I'd show you my everyday makeup routine. I have found myself getting into more of a routine nowadays, um, which never used to happen. I always used to change my makeup up like every single day, but I've just found a routine that really works for me. I found products that really work for me. I found my new all-time favorite foundation ever. Like I absolutely love it and I'll show you that later. But yeah, um, I just thought I'd show you what I've been doing. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy. I'm just gonna clip my hair back with this very fetching clip right here. Just so my fringe is out of my face. <laughs> yes. Okay, so before I do anything, I'm just gonna put some eye cream on. So I'm using the Body Shop Vitamin E eye cream and I'm just gonna put that under my eyes. I need a new one of these that's running out. See, this is the thing, I found myself like running out of stuff. Um, yeah, which never happens because I'm, I'm always like buying new stuff before I use anything else. Um, so yeah, that's pretty weird. Um, by the way, <laughs> I got this dress like um, on Forever 21. Look at this. Can you see this massive gaping hole? It's not even too tight. There's like loads of room, but it's ripped. I'm gonna send that back. Oh, this is the um, Lizelle Skin Repair Moisturizer for dry to sensitive skin. I love this stuff so much. Oh, I've got a spot coming. Yeah, I love this stuff. It just really hydrates the skin, but it kind of dries matte. Um, so it doesn't make you like really greasy. And um, it's like helped re a lot with my redness and What's it got in it? It's got barrage and avocado oil and vitamin E as well. Yeah, I love it. I highly recommend this moisturiser. And then for my primer, I'm going to use the Too Faced Hangover Primer. I love this stuff as well. Um, I never used to use primers. I never used to kind of believe in them, um, but it does make a difference. So I'm speaking to the converted here and I just rub that all over my face after my moisturiser, as you do. So yeah, how have you guys been? I mean, there's not a lot of you, so you're probably not going to reply, but um, I just thought I'd make conversation. How have you been? Any news? Scandal? Gossip? Right, so my favourite foundation, my new favourite foundation that um, I've just started using, well I haven't just started using it, but I've worn this every day, I haven't used anything else for literally like the past month, and it's the Bare Minerals um, Original Powder Foundation, so I'm just popping it in the cap and I'm using the brush that came with it. I got this in a gift, um, gift set for Christmas, as in like it was one of their Christmas gift sets. Um, so I got it for £39 with the brush and foundation and on its own the brush is 26 and the foundation is 26.50 so I saved like £20 which was amazing. Um, look at this coverage! Look at it! And it just looks so flawless and I just, oh I'm obsessed. I, haven't, I literally haven't worn any liquid foundation for ever since I have this, ever since I got it I haven't used anything else. And everyone keeps telling me how beautiful my skin looks, and I'm like, it's the Bare Minerals Powder Foundation. I just freaking love it. And it's so easy to apply, like there's no faffing around, you don't have to worry about like um, brush strokes or anything like that, because it's literally, it's just a powder foundation. Um, they said it's meant to be like sheer medium coverage, but I find it to be quite full coverage, um, personally. And the most exciting thing about this is that I don't have to use a concealer, <laughs> which is bloody great because I hate concealers because they they crease under my eyes and I just don't get on with liquid concealers. So what I do, which I will show you in just a brief moment, is I put it um, all around my eyes. I've still got dark circles, but um, I'm about to cover them up using this stuff and I've got a hair in my eye. Oh, 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 I've got a hair. Oh, it's right on my eyelash. Ow. Okay, it's gone. Oh, that's horrible. 
Right, so what I do is I take a little bit in the lid. And I get a, where's my brush? Where are you? No, seriously, that's my brush. I have it just a minute, oh, it's here. Right, um, so I get this little, it's a Zoeva concealer buffer brush. I take a little bit on the concealer brush and I just put it around my eyeballs and it just, it just gets rid of them, which is bloody fantastic. Now I'm gonna use my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Diffuse Light, and I'm just gonna take this on a big Real te Techniques Bold Metals Collection 103 brush that's just this kind of tapered powder brush, I guess. Um, and I just set all over my face with this and it just keeps my makeup on all day and gives me that really nice glow. And I love this powder so much, it's so nice. Bloody expensive, mind ya. Mind ya. So yeah, that's my base. How easy was that? Literally one product, like for this coverage, one product. Right, what am I doing? Who am I? Right, okay, so next I'm gonna take my very well loved <laughs> Charlotte Tilbury Film Style Bronzer Glow Palette. Okay, so I can barely get anything out of this right now. Um, it's kind of run out. I need to get a new one, but they're so expensive. Um, and I'm taking this on a Charlotte Tilbury powder and sculpt brush, and I'm just gonna sculpt out my cheekbones with this. So yeah, that's my sculpting done. And then I'm gonna take the highlight shade I'm gonna put that on the tops of my cheekbones for a nice glow, because we all love a glow. And I'm gonna put it under my brow bone as well. And on my cupid bow. <coughs> for my blush, I'm gonna take a number seven stippling brush and I'm gonna take a number seven blush. Now this one's been discontinued, um, but it's called Honey. Um, I just love this colour, it's, um, actually you know what, I'm going to use something that hasn't been discontinued that's like the same colour. Um, okay, so this is NARS Madly, I mean it's a lot more expensive, but it's pretty much, it's pretty much the same colour, so I'm just going to use this one because you can buy it, and that's helpful in life. So. I'm just gonna put this on the apples of my cheeks. This is just a really nice kind of nude blush color because I don't like my blushes to be too pinky. So the next thing I'm gonna do is take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Parmade in Blonde and I'm gonna take a Real Techniques Bold Metals Collection 202 brush. It's just this angled brush. And I'm gonna fill in my eyebrows because I don't have any. Okay, that's my eyebrows done. That's literally all I do to my eyebrows. That's all I need to do because I don't have any hair like that needs sticking down or whatever. So I just kind of leave it like that. And now we're going to move on to my eye. My eye. Okay, so I've been using the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. This smells like chocolate, believe it or not. Um, and I've just been using the same colours in here. I'm going to use the colour Salted Caramel. Can you see that? Just, just here? Yep. I'm going to take that colour on my brush and I'm just putting it in my crease. I like warm colours on my eyes because I've got blue eyes and it just makes them stand out more, I feel. As you can see, like, because I've got hooded eyes, I kind of bring it out because it makes my eyes look wider. So, it's just a trick I've, a trick I've learned. And then, I swap brushes. This is one I got in, I think it was in the Naked palette by Urban Decay, and I'm just gonna take the big flat side and I'm gonna go into Semi Sweet, which is just this one here. And I literally just pick a load of that up and put it all over my eyelid. Oh, I forgot my eyeshadow primer. Dang it. 
Okay, usually I use this. It's the NARS smudge proof um, eyeshadow primer, but I forgot. But yeah, that's what I used before my eyeshadow. My bad. <laughs> And then I just take the fluffy end of this. I think it came in the Urban Decay Smoky palette. And I'm just going to go with that. And um, I'm just going to take a little bit of um, salted caramel again. And I'm just going to go like right above where I put that chocolate colour. And I'm just going to blend it in. And then I'm going to oh I'm going to take the other end of that brush, which is like this little kind of. Wash, I guess. And I'm going to go into the colour Amaretto, this one here, which is like a shimmery aubergine kind of colour. And I just put, I just run that along the lower lash line. And then all I do is I take my pinky and I go into this colour Champagne Truffle, which is just a shimmery kind of pink colour. And I put that in the inner corner. I like this. The next thing I'm taking, so I use two mascaras because my eyelashes are really blonde and pathetic. So I'm just taking my number seven Exceptional Definition Mascara. I'm going to use a mirror that's closer for this because I don't want to put my eyeball out. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just putting this as a base coat for my mascara. I just like having mascara on before I put on my mascara if you you know what I mean? And then I use, oh, it's all rubbed off. I use the number seven, this is the um, Extreme Length Mascara. This is the waterproof formula. And I just go over the top. And this, this, this is the one that makes the difference. It just makes it so much easier to like, get my lashes onto the wand. Cause there's something for it to kind of cling on to makes any sense at all. Look at the difference between that eye and that eye. I love this mascara. But the, the base coat really does make all the difference. Trust me, try it. Do you have odd days when you're when one of your um one of your eyes behaves and the other one doesn't. Today, this one's behaving really well and this one's not. There we are. That's my mascara done. And that's the eyes done. And then the only thing I have left to do is my lips. And this is kind of the only thing I change up. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Matte Re the Matte Revolution lipstick in Walk of Shame, and I don't like putting this on like with this, so I just take it on my finger and then I just kind of. I like to do a tint. I ha do you know what? I really hate lipstick. I just, I just don't like wearing it because I always end up like taking it off. Or, like, it comes off, and it's just a massive faff. So yeah, that's just a little tint so that I don't look dead. Yeah, that's that's pretty much my everyday makeup routine. Um, this is what I do on a daily basis, and I just it works for me. I really like the eye look. I really like. I love this foundation so much, so much. I love it so much. It's like yeah. Did I mention I love it? Did I? I hope you enjoyed this video, um, give it a big thumbs up if you did, and subscribe, and yeah, I shall see you in my next video. Oh, hello tassel. Let me try that again, I will see you in my next video. Take care.